What's going on everyone? Jake Gissler here and today I'm going to be telling you guys about how to get started in music video directing. Tip number one. In order to get started in music video directing, you have to have a camera. I actually made a video not too long ago that talks about how to get started in videography, which is a lot more broad. And in that video, I talk about some of the needed equipment and also cameras that you can utilize to get started. For music video directing, it is entirely essential that you have something that obviously can shoot 1080p, something that you can change and go into manual mode and shoot in different frame rates such as 24 frames per second or 60 frames per second. A lot of the higher end cameras allow you to shoot in 120 frames per second or even higher and also have 4K quality. But just getting started, I think it's great to get a cheap camera that has slow motion capabilities, which would be your 60 frames per second. So definitely if you're getting started, you need a camera that can shoot in 24 frames and 60 frames per second, but it also has to allow you to shoot in a manual mode. Tip number two, once you have your camera, this is where you have to go out and do your own research and find local people, whether it be a friend, whether it be local artists and see if they'll allow you to shoot a video for them and say, Hey, you know, I'm just starting out. It would be a very great help for me to allow me to kind of learn the ropes and it would be a great help for you because you're going to get a free video from me. Your first at least one to two videos should not be paid projects. You need to go out and you need to shoot these videos for free. Tip number three. I didn't know this when I started out in shooting and I wish that I would have. But when you get into directing, you have to understand that there's a big difference in directing something and shooting something. Now, starting out, you're going to have to do both. My tip to you if you're trying to be a music video director is take control when you are on set. Be sure that while you're shooting, you don't get caught up in things like composition and your lighting because one of the biggest issues I have to this day is I'm very interested in both directing and cinematography. And when I am on set doing my cinematography and directing, I kind of sometimes get lost in my own shooting, making sure my framing is right, making sure my lighting is right, that I forget to watch the artist and say, hey, you know, do this or do that give more energy. I think that you should do it this way. I forget some of those different things with directing, which can actually make your video suffer a lot if you're not paying attention. My third tip for you is to make sure you stay on top of directing the artist because sometimes on set, the artist may just kind of be losing energy just from, you know, a long shooting time. So make sure you're directing at all times and you you make sure you're watching the performance and that it's perfect to what you envision for the project. Tip number four, you need to make sure that every time you get a song that you somewhat conceptualize this song and really what goes well with it, whether the visual story doesn't go with it at all. I think that is always important to sit down and really conceptualize something for the song, whether it be how you shoot the B roll, the locations that you're shooting at, and I know that this can be hard for a lot of people, especially when there's no budget, because you feel like you're kind of wasting your time in a way, you're not making a lot of money, but this is where the passion for filmmaking comes in. And I think that as a director, it is your job to, to come up with a concept no matter what. And I'm gonna be honest, I've lost touch a lot with some of the artists I work with because I've gotten to a system of shooting that is so textbook to my style, and I kind of just, I know exactly what I have to get. We meet on the day of the shoot and there's been times that I don't even hear the song until we meet. And that's not really to my own fault that, that some artists just don't send the song and you're kind of stuck waiting. But my tip for you guys is be diligent starting out about taking that time beforehand to really conceptualize and be creative with the shoot. You don't have to do these big stories. You can add little elements. I've seen a lot of music videos that utilize things like birthday cakes, just things that you can buy at the grocery store that add just a certain flavor to the video that is better than just performing at the camera. So just take that into account and do the best you can in, in terms of conceptualizing before you shoot. Tip number five, this is probably the most important thing for a, someone starting out as a director. You need to make sure that you're acquiring new business all over the place, whether that be with a bigger named artist or just local artists. Give out deals when you can. Work with the people that are hitting you up because as you drop work, there's gonna be a lot of people who say, hey, you know, I really loved your work. I would love to work with you. And it's important to ask them what their budget is, but I think that starting out, even up to probably your first 20 videos, you should probably work with people's budgets and just get a taste for different clients and test the market and learn who you're working with, work with different people. That's really how you're gonna find out who you are as a shooter and who you enjoy working with. 
but also it's gonna allow you to build on a lot of skills that you couldn't get elsewhere without working with people. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. There's just quick five tips for getting started in music video directing. I want anyone who's seen this video to comment below anything they think I might've missed or what would be more relevant to someone who's kind of starting out. But guys out and that you take some of the advice that I gave here. If you wanna see more content like this, definitely subscribe below. I don't care if you like it or dislike it. Give me your honest opinion, what you thought, and I will see you guys soon.